Hey what's up guys, I'm Shrikar and today I will be your tutor for today's video. I hope you all are doing well and today's video is gonna be about HTML. So let's get right into the video. So yeah, as you guys can see that I have split the topics into 17 parts so that you can guys can understand and not only into one slide, right? So yeah, the first slide will be an introduction about the introduction, implementation, where to write the code, and the structure of the HTML, tags and data, how many types of tags like link tag, image tag, HR tag, and HTML comments, HTML text formatting, HTML style attributes, uh, style examples, uh, HTML tables, features, table features, uh, HTML lists which are unordered lists and ordered lists, uh, HTML forms like uh, text fields, text area fields, drop down menus, uh, radio buttons, um, check boxes, action attributes uh, submit button and html layout and html frames which are of uh, two types uh, vertical frames and horizontal frames so we will uh, look this look into these topics into the further sessions and yeah so what is html well html stands for hypertext markup language so that is used to structure a web page and its contents for example content could be structured within set of paragraphs a list of bulleted points or using images, data tables, which we'll see in the further sessions. And HTML isn't a programming language, so this is actually a markup language. So you guys might wonder, what is markup language? So markup language is specifically used to label parts of the document for what they are, rather than how they should be processed. Well, well-known systems that provide many such labels include HTML and XML. Well, you, XML also stands for extensible markup language, which is also to used to format the web pages. So, well, what is HTML used for? So, HTML is actually used for structuring the web pages with tags and elements. Uh, we can define the headings and paragraphs and other contents of the web pages. And it is used to nav navigate through the internet and um, it's embedding through the images and videos and improving the client-side data storage and offline capabilities. And it is used to interacting with native APIs. And this is the first process in front-end development. And this is actually a first layer in learning the web development. Yeah. Yeah. So um, let's come to the next slide. Yeah, so come to the coding platform. So where to write the code? So you can write the code in several platforms like Visual Studio Code, Sublime Text, Notepad++, Atom, and Brackets. So you guys might wonder uh, which uh, coding platform is best. So I personally choose Visual Studio Code because Visual Studio Code is free and with support of hundreds of languages, Visual Studio Code helps you be instantly productive with syntax highlighting, bracket matching, auto indentation, and box selection, snippets, and more. So yeah, keyboard shortcuts are more in this and it's very easy to customize the uh, themes and everything, and everything lay out, laid out uh, in your customization. So the shortcut mappings let you navigate your code with more ease. So I choose Visual Studio Code. So we will see in this further sessions, I will try to execute the code and I will show you where to download Visual Studio Code and I will also mention a link below the description. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go to the next slide. Okay. Now come to the first part. What is the structure of HTML? So to explain this, I'm just shifting to the Visual Studio code and I'll show you the structure of HTML. Okay. Yeah, ignore this. Uh we'll do this all things in the in the sessions, in the further sessions. Let me just uh cross this. Okay. First, we need to go to file and press uh, new file. Okay. Actually, uh, in the new update, it's coming like this, select a language. So in previous, we need to, you know, save the file in dot html, but we don't need, you don't need to uh, do that. So we press html in this, in the search bar, html. Yeah. See that? Yeah. Okay. So now, uh, let me just explain the structure in the you know in structure in the html so structure of the html so yeah okay in this we have two parts in the structure one is head 
okay and another one is body okay so let me explain that in a few seconds okay this body so this both are the structure so let me just write the full code for you because you guys you can understand so let's go to the title let's press title okay title let's say uh structure of html okay but you need to close the tag so to close the tag you need to write um you know wait you need to close the tag like this see okay this is a closing tag so this is the opening tag and this is a closing tag okay you need to do this in every each and step okay so this is the you know this is the head so you need to go back and just close the head tag and let's write head so yeah this is the head tag now we need to write the body tag right so the body tag so you guys might wonder what the head part consists of so the head part consists of the title of the page the description of the page the content inside the page and uh, yeah so I'll, I'll write that down so that you guys might not get confused so in this body uh, well we have certain tags as P I'll explain that in a few minutes uh, P okay P uh, HTML is not a <laughs> programming language okay you need to close that again okay P stands for paragraph tag so P means uh, you know we can write a line and uh, make convert it to a paragraph using P okay so I will explain the tags in the further sessions so in the next step uh, if when you when you're finished with uh, writing the body tag you guys need to close the tag so body so you know go to the body okay you close the tag it's done so is the code done no the code is not done because we have closed we have opened the head tag and closed the head tag and we open the body tag we close the body tag so we, we just open the html tag so we need to close that too so let's close it html okay yeah it's done so you guys might wonder uh, why here so you need to align the elements perfectly so that we don't get any you know uh, these d these these things don't you know interfere so uh, how to execute this part so you guys need to just you know uh, let's just it's already saved it's auto save so let's just keep it as um, you know uh, prog one okay let's save that okay it's, it's saved as program one so let's you know I press the right right click and let's just open a default browser okay when you open it in default browser okay um, when you open in default browser you get like this see the structure of HTML why we got this because we have written the title the title displays the you know the title displays the um, title of the page here see I see okay uh, and HTML is not a programming language so this is written here because of the tag P and if and if you write the tag right here like this wait so instead of P if we remove and keep um, H H6 so actually uh, you need to download some extensions to you know auto correct so if when I when I just uh, remove 6 right over here it's automatically removing 6 right over here so you see that so there are certain extensions I will mention it below so guys go and download that so let's just uh, save this again and open a default browser see h6 is the smallest uh, you know smallest uh, tag so let's go back and uh, I will show you the how to uh, enlarge that uh, so just go and press h1 okay and again press to open a default browser see this is the largest one so this it's kind of highlighted that you know okay 
this is uh, done guys this is a structure of the html tag the head part consists of providing it provides the title of the page description of the page and everything and who developed the page and all the author's name that all will be displayed uh, in the head tag and in the body tag in the body tag it displays the elements and the it's actually a part which contains the actual information which is already displaying in the web page so uh, it's like uh, you know uh, wait let me show you that one uh, where is that? Uh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Uh, where is that? Uh, so let's say execute it one more time, and I'll show you guys. So this part is right. This part is there, right, guys? So this part is actually body tag. So whatever you mention in the body part, uh, it will be displayed right over here. Uh, whatever you mention in the head, it will be mentioned in the above, guys. See that? It will be mentioned above. So I will also uh, give you guys certain uh, extensions. So you guys go and check it out. It's very useful. You don't you don't need to you know always uh, you know see you don't need to always you know uh, you don't need to just add add like this. So here I'm writing itself so that you guys won't get confused. So actually the head part head part okay contains head part contains. Head part contains a uh, title of the page, title of the page, and uh, who developed the page, who developed the page, okay, and uh, who is the author, okay, author means who developed the page, uh, and when will the page expire, okay when will the page expire okay and one more thing um, uh, uh, when will the page expire and the description of the page will be displayed okay description of the page will be displayed okay now coming to the body part body part contains okay body part contains well the body part contains actual information actual actual information which is displayed which is displayed on the web page okay and one more thing uh, whatever information we give like the input inputs given by user will be displayed okay so the head part contains these things the head body part contains these things so well I didn't write this this everything in a HTML format but I'm writing uh, for you guys to remember it and yeah that's it guys and uh, i will explain the tags uh, in the further slides so you guys don't get confused h1 tag what is h1 tag what is he saying this all so i will explain each and every single step in one uh, programming line in program okay so yeah let's go to the next slide and see what's there yeah so coming to the next slide um the tags in html so that I'm going to explain every single tag which is in HTML. So let's get right into the code, Visual Studio Code. So as you guys, I as you guys can see that I have explained already the HTML tag, head tag, the title tag, and wait, let me just go. The title tag, the head tag, the body tag, everything. So let me just explain um, the, you know, let me just explain the comment tag for you a second. Okay. So the comment tag. Okay. So what does this do? So you know what this does? Um well com comments tags actually, you know, um it does not print it does not print that line. So the comment tag is you know what? Well let me show you guys. This is the syntax. So okay, this is a comment. This is an open commit and you need to close it like this is a commit tag. Okay, 
comment tag what does this do this this don't print the following line okay so uh, this does not print uh, that following line so let me just give you an example so let me just give me the example so as you can see uh, I written this line right previously so I don't want this line to be printed so you know what you do uh, you got you just go back here press this and just press this as you guys can see that it is bolded out right so you know uh, this this line does not print into the uh, site so I'll just show you guys let me just close this for a second okay this is a commit tag so let me just open this in the default browser as you can see uh, there is no uh, you know there's there's no value in the body tag so yeah so that means that um, this means that what uh, well the line which is uh, written into this using the comment tag does not print the following line yeah this is a commit tag okay now the main tag so the main tag I'll explain that so HTML headings okay I made the explain about HTML headings well as you can see these are the HTML headings h1 h2 h3 h4 h5 h6 it's up to six somewhere okay so let me just write this in line by line so I'll, I'll just show you that okay see so, yeah, it automatically closed my tag so this is one of the extensions used in Visual Studio code so yeah I will also mention the extension which I used so I don't get don't get worried so HTML is not a programming language I'll write the same thing HTML wait sorry HTML is not a pro language okay just using h2 so let me just copy this thing so I don't need to you know time waste okay see that h3 and I'll close it immediately then suddenly opens another thing so this is also an extension that's why I use this visual studio code it's kind of friendly uh, let's use h4 h4 tag okay h4 tag and just you know press this I'll just show you why we are using this heading tags okay uh, close this okay h5 and h6 yeah so let me just save this okay now let's go to and open the default browser yeah see that guys so when you go back I'll show you guys so first from what we have written h1 so h1 is displayed at the first thing so h1 is what this one so h1 is very large two is light smaller 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 small okay guys get it this is the heading tags okay after that okay let me just explain uh, which tag paragraph tag as you guys I showed you before the p tag right so let me just uh, go and remove these things right over here okay uh, yeah uh, the paragraph tag so uh, paragraph paragraph tag okay so the paragraph tag we actually let me just remove this okay this is the paragraph tag so as you guys can see that I have saved this and let me just open this in default browser so it displays only you know it displays only a single line so what is the use of this paragraph tag so let me just type a sentence uh, HM is not programming language but it is but it is a markup language now coming to the next tag uh, it is actually a list tag okay list tag let me just write here let's just let, let me just keep the comment so that uh, you guys don't get confused okay the list tag okay and uh, as you guys can see that I didn't even close the uh, comment tag it automatically closed it because it I used the extension okay now this is a uh, list tag okay list tag in this list tag okay let me just show you the list tag right immediate, immediately so in this list tag we actually have certain types of uh, tags so first one is uh, li okay I will explain you immediately wait oh <laughs> li okay 
li and um, oi ol yeah i'll explain that immediately wait a minute okay so in this html list we have actually ordered list and numbered list well ordered list and number list are uh, ol so this is actually called as ordered list ordered list or numbered list okay and this li is a uh, wait a minute this li is actually a list so we used to represent the list so let me just show you guys so you guys get confused um so in the list tag we have unordered list too okay this is ordered list right so i'll show you the uh, unordered list too so in this unordered list we have a uh, ul ul is also a list but it is unordered an ordered list okay and it's also known as definition list okay okay um sorry sorry this is also called as bulleted list because it will be presented in bulleted form okay bulleted list okay and we also have another type of uh, list tag which is also known as dl tag okay oh sorry <laughs> dl tag which is called as description list description list or definition list okay i will just explain these four tags in a bit okay so first of all uh, let me just go to the program and just execute what is what so in this uh, let me just remove the you know with this line okay so this is uh, you know html right so let we want you know we want to uh, the li tag right so press li okay this is actually li tag but here we don't actually uh, you know in this body we actually give uh, the layered structure of this so in this we give ol to display the ordered list okay 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 this is html okay in this uh, ally wait 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 let's give css because that is the next uh, topic in our uh, session ally and javascript okay let me just uh, you know let me just copy this and uh, let me just paste it in notepad so that you guys don't confu get confused so yeah let's just uh, wait wait we need to close the ol tag too so uh, ol Oops, uh, sorry, I didn't even close that. Yeah, that's it. So let me just uh, save this and let's just open to the default browser so that uh, let's see what will happen. See, it's uh, ordered into a list, guys. So HTML, see, this is JavaScript. This is also ordered list. And I also told this is an ordered list or a numbered list, right? So let me just uh, wait, let me just open Notepad and show you guys. Uh, notepad. Okay. Uh, let me just open this okay see I told you guys ordered list or numbered list right so let's just you know uh, minimize this and show you why it, what it happened so the old tag which I referenced below the body tag it is it actually uh, displays everything into an ordered list which is in between it so yeah so if you want to do uh, unordered list so just just uh, replace O with U so it displays unordered list so let me just show you that one sec um, see this also called as unordered list or bulleted list because it is uh, it is represented in the form of bullet bullets okay so let me just minimize this or let me just you know uh, let me just uh, minimize this okay yeah guys uh, so 
next we have the you know uh, the image tag so let's you know let me just write right here the image tag okay okay yeah in the image tag actually there are lots of attributes so the so SRCs mean source uh, source of file which we need to uh, display the image and there's a you know let me just write down the keys which are used in you know image tag okay source okay source and attributes title okay and the height and the width of the image okay so we will see this now so in the image tag there are source attributes title height and width okay let's I mean, I'll just show you I'll just show you how we'll use the image tag right now okay I just remove this thing right over here okay so here the image tag represents as IMG okay the image tag so if I press enter yeah the image tag is here right so first we need to give the source okay the source means the file location of the image so um, let me just you know go to Google and let's just press wait a minute let's go here okay I just press uh, wait a minute let's just go and press um, Batman HD images 4k okay so we'll get sign of kind of some kind of pics right so let's go and press you know wait a minute let's go you know, let's go right over here and uh, let's just download this pic right over here wait a minute uh, save image as it saves right and we can also down we can also do like this so you can just you know copy the uh, image address okay and uh, let's go back okay the source let's just paste right over here so that nothing will happen yeah so this is this image source okay after that you need to give the attributes so this attribute is alt it represents as alt this is actually what this is actually a pick right so this is a pick okay and we need to give the title too so a title okay title okay what is the title this title is batman okay batman okay uh, and we need to give the height too so let's give the height as uh, wait, let me give you the height height as uh, 200 pixels okay and we need to give the width too so width uh, let me just give you the width as uh, mm, I suppose uh, okay it should be type for made in pixels okay in width we'll give it as 250 pixels okay and we need to close this so to close this we need to you know go back okay and yeah let's just you know save this and see what happens okay let's open a default browser yeah as you can see that the image is displayed we, because we use the image tag and as you guys can see that the image is very small because I have given only certain uh, you know I have given certain uh, height and width of this so if you, you know you can if you get if you guys can increase the uh, height too and the pixels up to 400 okay let's try to increase that okay let me just save this let's open into the default browser as you can see that it's kind of stretched right so uh, it's better to you know um, know the uh, dimensions of the image perfectly and do it and try to execute it you guys can uh, try it or try it yourself and the image tag is this okay and coming to the actually coming to the link tag uh, wait, wait a second the link tag okay uh, this image tag is done now let me just go and uh, tell you a link tag so what does this link tag do so this link tag you know it links uh, the uh, CSS file and the HTML file but uh, we I think I, I don't need to tell you guys right now I'll just tell this link tag uh, whenever I uh, do the CSS video because in this link tag uh, this actually relates uh, you know it defines the relationship between a document and an external resource the external resource is another file 
and this link tag is you know it's most used to link the style sheets so style sheets means CSS okay and the link element is an empty element so uh, it only contains attributes only so this uh, link element uh, see this, this link element is an empty is an empty element okay so this only contains uh, wait this only contains attributes contains attributes okay so this element goes only in the head section but it can appear in any number of times so this all this uh, this link tag only appears in head section not in the body section in the head section right over here where we have given the title uh, the link tag uh, you know it situa situates uh, into the head tag so yeah that's it guys so the, I'll just give an example to the link tag okay uh, let me just uh, uh, I, can, I think I think I can write below this yeah wait a minute wait a minute wait a minute wait a minute okay let me just you know go back here okay let's go and uh, I'll just uh, write the syntax so that you guys can see so the link and let us relate equal to style sheets style sheets okay okay and what type so you need to mention the type too okay a type is you know uh, text or CSS okay and after that you need to uh, this also call uh, highlight reference in this uh, we need to type in the uh, you know the type in the file name like style.css or something okay I will tell this thing and I will repeat this thing in the CSS video so don't get tense okay uh, yeah let's go to the next tag uh, yeah guys before going to the next tag I have done a mistake right over here as I told you guys the well the link tag uh, will be situated right over here right so let me just you know let me just uh, cut this right over here uh, and write it between the head tag okay yeah guys uh, yeah guys I won't go detailed into that so yeah okay the next uh, we'll go into we'll go to the you know the video tag so guys might get it out guys added an image tag why don't you guys add a you know uh, video tag so the video tag is not represented as video so it is actually called as embed tag so embed tag okay let me just write it for you so you don't get confused okay embed tag okay in this embed tag, embed tag uh, there it is used for uh, and it includes the external plugin like flash players media players into our web page so embed tag contains the following attributes so what are those are the source okay the height uh, and the weight okay autoplay okay play count and loop these are the attributes which is used in embed tag okay uh, in the embed tag uh, we actually uh, actually we have you know, I did forgot to tell about the h reference tag well the full form of this is hypertext reference tag well why we use this is that the HTML code is used to create a link to another page okay the href is an attribute of an anchor tag so it is an attribute of our anchor tag okay anchor tag okay anchor tag which is also used to identify the sections with a document okay that's why we use the uh, href right over here okay uh, these are the attributes used in embed tag okay and uh, I'll just write the syntax of the embed tag in a sec okay let me just minimize this okay okay 
you can also mention like this so uh, we need to write the embed tag in between the body so let me just remove the link right over here so that we don't mess up the okay after that uh, let's just go right over here and let me just write the syntax of this oh sorry yeah okay uh, embed so it automatically comes up okay embed next thing is source okay what is the source okay the source is um, suppose uh, okay we need to download a file right so instead of that I will just show you you know it's similar to the image so image tag so we just need to paste the uh, video uh, address and the, the parameters the attributes which I showed you right now this at this attributes you need to include there that's it uh, wait let me just write it for you guys so that uh, you guys don't get confused so this is the uh, this is the you know this is the uh, source and after that we go to height the height will kick it as 200 okay and let's go to the oh sorry guys this is not the weight this is the width okay uh, I just did a mistake sorry width okay and let's go to the width width will keep it as 300 okay after that autoplay autoplay and uh, autoplay let's keep it as true well I didn't get autoplay because uh, I didn't mention the link right over here because I don't know because I don't have any uh, you know any video source in my laptop right now because uh, if I just keep it this note this uh, it automatically pop up the autoplay so I'll keep the autoplay as true and the play count as well sorry play count play count as two and the loop two, okay. Loop two, okay. Yeah, this is the uh, you know this is the wait wait sorry loop as true right so. Okay, let me just close this thing. Okay, my first web page. Okay, my first web page, and let's just close the embed tag. So we have opened the embed tag, right? The embed tag. Oh, sorry, it just automatically pops up the body tag. So embed tag. Okay, this is the uh, this is the syntax of embed tag, and you can write the code like this too. So let me just uh, delete this, and let me just show you another cool trick. So let's just take a as I guys told you that this is a H reference tag this is also a, a tag which is used to uh, you know link another source file so let's take an example as you know let's go to uh, Google and just go to YouTube so that we can uh, a tag you know a link we can attach a link right up there so let me just open YouTube and let me just open our Wait, let me just okay Avengers okay okay this is the right so let me just uh, copy the link right over here the outer link okay wait I think okay I need to you know copy the link right over here let me just go back okay in this source file we need to paste the link okay after pasting the link we need to you know close the um, close this brace and um, you know we can just write like uh, click to watch this video like okay, this okay uh, yeah I have uh, by mistakenly uh, you know I by mistakenly removed the daughter I thought the link was incorrect 
so yeah this is the method which we can uh, we can also play the audio and video files using this uh, tags and we can just uh, you know this this is the tag to link a link okay and we can write amazing like uh, click to watch this video or you can write anything else to because if you press that uh, button it will redirect you to the YouTube YouTube uh, link yeah so yeah that's it guys uh, and there's also another tag uh, which is I think it's called as HR tag well, let me just write over here uh, so these are these guys these are the tags and you need to remember you need to remember the uh, attributes too so this is the HR tag sorry let me just uh, write this again HR tag so this HR tag means horizontal okay horizontal rules stack okay what does this do means uh, they are used to separate the content on the HTML page so for example uh, let me just show you right here so let me just delete the uh, image source tag and this tag, this tag right here here okay and the embed to okay wait a minute I think I by mistakenly deleted the body tag okay let me just write the body tag too body tag okay just delete this wait a minute why this come in this okay in the body tag um, let's write uh, example like uh, you know uh, okay let's say that this is a simple simple HTML page okay then after that let me just you know uh, wait first we need to uh, open the HR tag so in this body let me open the HR tag so HR tag okay then I'm I'm writing another line too okay uh, P okay uh, HTML is very simple and easy to learn uh, yeah guys uh, I understood why it came like that so we have the first line right here second line right here right so to uh, display the line right here we need to start the HR track from here itself so if I just execute this I'll show you guys see as you guys can see that I have separated the first line and second line through the uh, horizontal rule line right so this is another tag yeah so yeah this is this is how we use it and there are actually certain tags like you know div tag uh, uh, frame tag u tag uh, variable tag no script tag basement tag uh, there are certain tags like output tag time tag well these tags I'll explain uh, you know through a program which uh, I write yeah guys mm -hmm. so uh, I have gone through uh, the implementation where to write the code as usual in Visual Studio code and I have exp explained the structure of HTML and the tags and the data so uh, the link tag and the image the link tag I have explained and the image tag too and also the embedded tag which we use for the video and we use the href tag and how to link the YouTube link into it I have explained that too and the HR tag too and I have explained the H HTML comments too okay so I have explained also the HTML lists how we use this in the uh, code I have explained an ordered list ordered list yeah the bulleted list and the numbered list yeah so we will see the other parts of the uh, chapters in the next video so I hope you like this video don't forget to like share and subscribe to jobless developer see you guys in the next video thank you guys bye bye this is Shrikar Balamaj signing off